So today I'm going to fix this box. No, seriously, I'm going to fix this box, and I'll show you why. It's a bit noisy. So this is a box which runs some of my security camera system. This it's not really used that much now, but it is still used. I've gotten two IP cameras now, so it doesn't actually use this for those cameras, because all PoE. But this box is still used to power the old security cameras, which are still in place. And the reason I've done that is because they emit infrared light. So they're acting like floodlights. So I've got the IP cameras that have got infrared, and obviously the old cameras have also got infrared. So the old cameras are basically just um, supplementing the light sources, you know. Anyway, I've got to try and get this board out of here because unfortunately it can't just unscrew the metal panel from the front to get the fan out. That doesn't quite work like that. Unfortunately it didn't make this very easy to fix the fan. You have to strip the whole thing down to get to it. But, uh, oh well, so be it. Got to take these off as well. Yeah, it's moving. Okay. Now, I've also got this extra wire running across here. I'm trying to remember what I actually did here. I did a modification to this because I think the fan was originally quite noisy when I first got it. And I put a, a variable voltage power supply in here, a little buck converter. I think I've got it running to the fan to run the fan slower so it's quieter. But also, I've got it attached to this, I need to unmount this as well. So, hopefully, it'll lift out. And if you look down inside there, look down inside there, you can see that's why the casing is all bent because I actually increased the gap between the fan and the transformer. Now I don't actually remember why I did that. Maybe it's because I've changed the fan or it was rubbing or I don't actually remember. It's a bit strange. I know I did something to it, obviously, but I don't remember what. Anyway, um, capacitors aren't bulging, which is surprising considering it's been there for many years. I'm not going to change them. They look fine. So there's the original fan connector, which I've cut the wire from. And I've used the earth as the same. And obviously I've run the power wire from this little buck converter over here to drop the voltage down so it runs slower because it didn't have that much stress on it so I've actually done that to reduce the stress on the fans probably what lasted so long oh it's a bolt hmm hope the nuts can captive I thought they're self tapping but no it seems they're not hopefully I'll put captive nuts in there maybe I'll glue them in or something I don't know I really don't remember anyway this fan is not heavy Okay, so 12 watt, 1.8 watt. Oh, yeah, that bearing's definitely gone. That's rough as hell. So, I need to find another fan to replace this one. Now, being a YouTuber, naturally I have some fans. I mean, I'm talking DC fans here. <laughs> What's this one here? Looks like it's about the right size. This is the right thickness. It's probably too thick, this one. Let me see if I've got a fan which will fit. So I've had to dig around. I found a fan which is the same size, but it's deeper, so I can't put it inside the box. Can't put it inside here, it won't fit. So I'm going to put it on the outside. Now the problem is put on the outside, it means I can't then shut the door on this. But it actually doesn't matter anyway, because the door's always open. It means I'll probably actually push this deck back in a little bit and put it back straight like it used to be. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rubber mount this thing. I probably do need to bend it back a little bit actually, so I can get the rubber mounts to work. I've got these rubber mounts because I need to be pushed through because otherwise I can't bolt it very easily. So I've got these little rubber mounts which are really useful. I've shown these before in a mail bag. It just means it's going to also be a lot quieter. Instead of being mounted directly to the heatsink, I can shove these through and mount those on. And then that will, um, once I get them bedded in properly, it'll just mount on those rubbers, no bolts. Makes it quieter. It's great. So I'm going to flatten this thing out first before I do that. And I'll come back after that. Gave it a smack with this hammer here. I tried to get this one in to sort of get it flat, but I gave up getting it flat. I just stoved it inwards instead. There's still a gap inside, massive gap. So, main thing I'm trying to get there is the corners all being flat together, and that's what they've got. It's not rocking there, so that it'll be all nice. Good enough. So, I'm just putting some little bits of silicon on these just to help them slide through the aluminium casing. I enlarge these holes very slightly to make them better fit for these. They were a bit too tight before, so. They don't need to be particularly wonderful on there, it's good enough. So let's try and thread that through. Right. Get a spin, so it spins the silicon around, give it a pull. 
That's the first part, there's a second step in it, which I need to get through, which is the that one there, like that. Okay, that's the mounting. So I've got to do now is put the fan onto that. Now obviously you've got to make sure it goes the right way. Now this isn't the right fan, this is a speed control fan, it's got the sensor output on it. So she has a pulsed output, but obviously we don't care about it. We're going to put the power supply up and hope for the best. So let's drop this down to these posts. You think this would be easy, a bit, wouldn't you? <laughs> All right. So let's pop that in one at a time, hopefully. It's been hard to grab hold of. Somebody's in a slippery. <laughs> We attach the fan. So what I've done, I've been a bit lazy here. Instead of splicing the negative wire into this terminal here, I've just stuck into a screw terminal down here. It's the same rail. It's the same negative rail. No reason why I can't just do that. But the positive, obviously, I need to go to this thing. So I need to splice those wires together. So we'll just do that now. Solder that wire there, and that one there. Well, I could probably just go straight to the actual interface. No, I've already cut the heat shrink now. <laughs> and obviously I could have gone straight to 12 volts and just run it as 12 volt fan, but I want to run it slower so it lasts longer. I mean, the other one lasted a very long time. I think it's been up there... How long has this been up there now? Probably 12 years? Been up there a long time. Obviously that part's good for longevity. Alright, let's heat shrink that. That should now work and that should be solid. If you can hear it over there. <laughs> so let's plug it in the power and we'll test it. Power's not currently live. You never plug power in live if you can avoid it. And this is sitting on the bench, which is fine. Should be good enough. All right. So I just flicked it on for a little bit and turned it off again. I thought I heard a spark when I first turned it on, which is why I turned it back off again straight away. It could be the bench itself. I think I might need to insulate this on something. Um, there you go. Let's do that. That'll be kind of insulated. It's not skishy at all. Let's do this again. Okay. Much, much quieter. Still got heaps of airflow. I'm not sure what voltage is coming out of this. We should find it out. Backlight's really effective on this meter, isn't it? <laughs> so, casing is indeed negative. Well, we go to one of these terminals as well. Let's go to one of these terminals. What voltage is it set to? 8 volts. So, it's running 8 volts. That's fine. So, it's not running full output and it's obviously putting out adequate airflow. I can feel the breeze coming out the side, so I think it'll be fine. Right, so, as you can see, that is indeed sticking proud of the box, so that's as shut as it goes. Do you know what? I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> Where this is kept, it's not normally accessible. It's safe from children, that kind of stuff, so it's not like it's an issue. So let's plug this in. That's running off battery power right now. Nice and quiet. Happy with that? I'll go and reinstall it. <laughs> 